And also, Vladimir's just put out on download, you can get it off of his site, you can download it directly from his site. Uh, short, like 45 minute lesson on knife work. And in that, he kind of says about a lot of people say the best defence against the knife is to run. Which is kind of okay if you're faster than the other guy. If you see the knife, you've got time to run. You've got space to run. And if you're not with anyone, you can't run as fast as you. Unless you want to give them a dead leg and leave them there <laughs> and the use them. Which is a bit selfish. So, the question is then about spotting the knife and maybe reacting to stop the draw or to create distance before the knife is drawn. Now, the problem is when you do any of this kind of awareness work, it's going to be the knife, it's going to be the gun or whatever it is, we all know that's the drill. So we're all kind of, we're all kind of primed up and we're looking for it. Obviously you've got to carry this over into your other stuff. And it's, it's all part of general awareness anyway. You observe how people stand. You observe the, the, the tension in their posture. You, you look at their face. All these things will give you clues as to their physical state, their mental state, and, and perhaps give you some idea of their intentions, good or bad. Okay? The other side of that, of course, is we're also learning to operate without giving any of that stuff away. So, for example, if I'm going to stab Joe for some reason, then, you know, that's not maybe an, an efficient way to do it. Whereas, you might have been a second there anyway. You know, you, you just sort of work that far away, perhaps. Not that we're teaching that you how to assassinate people, but there are people out there who will work like that. Uh, we'll know that. So, first thing we're going to do is just some general awareness of the knife. If we just make it kind of like a circle, so it's very similar to the, the stick throwing drills we've done before. That's a, a bit more of a circular circle. And what we want to train first is the idea of peripheral vision. Uh, if I focus on Paul's t-shirt, Kappa, and I just stare at that, I kind of can't see much else of what's going on. If I sort of look over Paul's shoulder and just keep my focus soft, then my field of vision kind of extends out. Yeah, so, I'll see my, so you can even do this as well, you can just see how far your field of vision is. You've got that whole area that you should be able to pick as a movement, pick a movement up. So what we're going to do is just throw the knife around, but if I'm going to throw the knife to Chris, I'm not going to go, this is me telling him I'm going to throw the knife. Okay? Instead, I'm going to work like that. So don't look at who you're throwing the knife to. We just use these two wooden ones at the moment. And just yeah. to the person, not at them. So when you throw the knife, I'm throwing, because there's another drill in here as well, about if I need to throw the knife to someone, not at them. So if I'm going to throw the knife to me, <laughs> that's not very old, you know? If I'm going to throw the knife to the ball, so I'll throw, you throw it in such a way that the other person can catch it.
to do is not defend against these four guys or anything else, but turn, they start, you turn, they take a couple of steps in, you look, then I went to make an instant decision. So the point is, it's just learning to make a quick reaction. Um, just with one line for it. Just, just one line. And it's, it's difficult because it's not a real situation. And in a real situation, the guy who's carrying the knife might be showing something a little bit different from those who are not. Or if he can hide it, perhaps not. But even so, you've still got to try and think. So look at where these guys' hands are. Now, Jake's hand up and see, so that's pretty much okay. Possibly knife in the pocket, possibly knife here. Mm, I'd go maybe here or here, maybe here. Okay. So you've got to think, where could the knife be on the person? And uh, you can hide the knife in and stick up your arms. You can have it here, but to get it. So I think if, if, if it's, they're coming in with intent to use, the knife is going to be somewhere convenient. So that's kind of what I what I what I've determined. That's the first thing. Let them take a few steps in, then just try and pick. I, I often find that if this is both the person with the knife, but just tries to think but as an intent yeah. to yeah. actually yeah. stab the yeah. person thinking about what they're yeah. not very nice, but be thinking about what they're going to yeah. do with the knife and kind of get them. Because what you don't want is for all the guys <laughs> to come in and go like oh, <laughs> Got to be like you're thinking, you're just going to approach this bloke and not going to stab him. And the rest are the just there for like that. Okay, let's try it. Two groups. One, one, two, going on so everyone's switched on which helps but also the people doing the drill know we're doing the drill as well so they're trying to cover it which doesn't help. So you just need to be aware if you're in any of that sort of situation, as I said, people's posture, where the hands are and their intention and sometimes look for the intention to be masked as well. The guy who's trying not to be very obvious could very often be the one who is the danger. So you're looking for that as well. You can play the game, spot the bodyguard when you see politicians or other very important people on television. You see the obvious bodyguard. You can also see another bloke, the not so obvious bodyguard. So practice that kind of thing as well. Don't always look for the obvious. Having said that, in your normal situation where there's adrenaline or emotion running, then things become a lot more obvious anyway. Well, just very quickly, we've got this, this drill is on the, the Knife Defence Workshop DVD as well, but we'll just quickly go through this just for a couple of minutes. So again, one person turns his back, I put the knife somewhere, I say go, he turns around and just, go, just grabs the knife, go. And kills me. <laughs>
try and position yourself in such a way <laughs> from both 